creating visual content, alignment is one of the key principles for clean design. Often, however, you don't have the tools to be able to align objects properly next to each other. For example, in this case, I have the word growth and I have this square object and also this shape. And then additionally, I want to be able to align these additional objects above or near the uh, grid so they are all aligned in one vertical line, left justified. However, doing it, eyeballing it is a little bit difficult. You may get close, but you won't always be perfectly uh, aligned. So we have a very neat tool, simple to use, view options. You go to the top left, click view options, and you have the ability to actually enable grids. So you simply turn on the grids. By default, the size is very small, 20 by 20 pixels. So let's say in this case, what I want to do is go all the way to 100 pixels. And I can also drag and uh, scroll to the right. All right. And so what I have now is a grid line. And what I can simply do is go in and actually move my objects around, left justifying it to that line. So I, it can serve as a very simple reference point so I can make sure that all my objects are literally aligned to the left, next to or flush left to that line. And additionally, I can use the horizontal lines as a reference point. So here I have the word growth. And then what I can do is put this object perhaps halfway down that item. Or what I can do is go to my view options and then modify my height. So maybe in this case, since I'm working with a smaller area, um, go to say 50 pixels. And so what I can do is then go in and maybe put it right flush underneath the other line. All right, I have a small, I have a very large gap here. So if I wanna make sure that I follow that method, I will go in and let's say make it as close as 20. So now I can go in and move the object right there. So now I have a perfect alignment for my object. I can do the same thing with this one. So I have the uh, went global text. I will go ahead and move it to the left and then move this object over here. And so I have it flush to the horizontal line. So I have one gap, one uh, grid area gap between my text. So this ensures that I have the same gap between all of them. Now what I can do is go back to the view options if I want to for purpose of viewing, I can turn it off so I can see my alignment right here that I've achieved. Additionally, there's a couple other neat options. So if I go to view options and if I turn on my grid, um, what I can do is I can actually play with the opacity. All right, so what this will allow you to do is to be able to actually see clearly where your grid lines are. So if uh, perhaps it gets in the way of your design, you can go very, very faint just enough so you can see the grid line. There's a couple more features. There is a snap to grid and a snap to objects. If you turn up the turn on the snap to grid, what you can do is you can actually move your object and as you get close to a grid line, it literally will snap the object to it. So it's much easier to be able to align your objects uh, next to the other elements you're working with. So if I go and actually go here, it just literally snaps to place. So I don't have to keep going to left to the right with my arrows. Um, additionally, I have the snap to objects. If I turn this on, the snap to objects will allow me to actually snap objects together. So this is usually more hurtful though, if uh, hurt, uh, helpful if you go to view options and turn off your snap to grid. So only one of these should be turned on at the same time because that way one will not affect the other one. All right. So this will help me to actually snap objects next to each other uh, in this area. Um, so that's the uh, simple method of using uh, grids for achieving clean alignment in your projects. Thank you very much. Refer to additional tutorials for other tips.